Hey there, everybody. So you might hear a little car noise. I'm right on the side of the road here. Um, I'm at the Settler's Cabin, um, which is right, um, right uh, kind of on the outskirts of La Grande on one of the hills here in eastern Oregon. And uh, it's a really pretty place, but it's a good place to do a video except for the road, cars passing by on the road. Um, and sorry for the clickbait title. I just couldn't resist. I don't normally do that on my channel, as you guys know, but uh, I just couldn't resist. So, um, yeah, two things I got for you today. The first one is, is um, I ended up sending back my X-T5. And the reason why I did that was because um, I had bought the kit with the 16 to 80 millimeter F4. And I kind of decided that after I saw how the X-H2 and the X-T5 increased the quality of my 18 to 55, um, I kind of realized, you know, I really didn't need the 16 to 80. Don't get me wrong, the 16 to 80 F4 was sharper than my 18 to 55, but my 18 to 55 is good enough. And now that it was, uh, uh, now that the quality increased on the XH2 and the XT5, like I was happy with that lens and I like the size. It fits in my kit better. Um, the 18, the uh, 16 to 80 just kind of overlapped more. Um, if I was just going to have one lens uh, and do a one lens travel kind of a deal, the 16 to 80 was a great lens. And I could really see where a lot of people would love that lens. The size is great, the weight is great, for, I mean, for what it is. But um, for me personally, it just didn't really fit in my kit. Uh, truth be told, I really wouldn't take it with me. I don't really have much use for it. So, um, so unfortunately, I bought the X-T5 in a kit form with that lens. So in order to send that lens back, I had to send the X-T5 back as well, which I did, but have no fear because I just reordered another X-T5 and I got this one in black this time, um, only because that's what was in stock. The uh, silver one was temporarily back ordered and I, I don't really care black or silver. I really like the look of the silver. Um, I think it's the prettier camera, but the black is totally serviceable and I don't mind at all. So um, I got the black X-T5 this time and there it is with my uh, 18 to 55, which I just, I really love the size of this lens. Um, on the X-T3, you know, with the 26 megapixel sensor, it left a little to be desired, uh, but uh, on the new um, X-T5 and X-H2 on the 40 megapixel sensor, I love it. Now, uh, my second topic that I will uh, tell you about today is that, uh, you know, I've kind of gravitated away from L brackets. Like, I've still got them and I still use them um, and I take them with me but I don't necessarily uh, use them that often. Like right now I've just got, you can get these little plates off of Amazon really cheap. I forget who makes this one. This is um, Ivation and they're really inexpensive. You get like two or three of them for like 15 bucks. And uh, it's just the Arca Swiss plate. And I like this because it just fits in my camera bag. Now, the only reason that this really works is because I have ball heads on all my tripods. And so when I do a vertical, I just, switch it that way on the ball head. So, and because the Fujis are so small and the lenses are so small, like I don't need an L bracket to, you know, the only reason I'd really need an L bracket if I did a lot of panoramas, because that's nice when you, when you do your vertical stitches together, your L bracket keeps the thing centered. If you're on the ball head, the whole camera kind of moves and it makes the, your panoramas kind of goofy. So, but I don't do a lot of panoramas. So I've been gravitating away from the L brackets. I have the L bracket on my X-H2, which I'm using for a video right now. Um, but I take the L, it's the uh, small rig, but I take the L part off and I just throw that in the bag in case I need it. Haven't been putting it on too often. Um, if I were going on a trip to like Zion or something like that, yeah, I'd probably put the L bracket on. And I want to get the L bracket for this guy, the small rig. Um, they've got a nice one, it looks like. But uh, now it's back ordered until like April. So I'm just waiting for him to get in stock. Um, and I will pick up the L bracket for the X-T5. But, um, but yeah, so there it is. So that's what I got going on. I'm going to take a few snaps. I, I have photographed this settler's cabin a lot and I've rarely, I don't think I've ever gotten a photograph I've really been pleased with. I'm going to try a couple of different things today, a, little, a few different angles, but I really don't expect to get anything. If I do, I will roll them into the video right now. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you out here. Looking forward to taking some trips, getting out there, and uh, 
doing some dedicated photography videos. Bye.